There is so much rich history in Overtown. Many of the buildings and businesses where great musicians played and partied in the days of segregation. Our Alexis Frazier shows us how some of those same places are holding very special events during this Black History Month to honor that legacy. In Overtown, there is history everywhere and in most of the buildings, like where Red Rooster sits. This used to be a pool hall called Clyde Killen's Pool Hall in the 50s and the 60s, where all the greats would come through, such as Aretha Franklin, Sam Cooke, Ella Fitzgerald. The redevelopment of the Clyde Killen's Pool Hall has been a catalyst for the overall redevelopment efforts in the cultural entertainment district of Overtown. The now restaurant serves comfort food, celebrating the roots of American cuisines and the diverse culinary traditions of the neighborhood. They wanted to come and create this space with intentionality. So the designs that you see is every piece is thoughtfully you know, designed and placed in that position. And we wanted to also celebrate the rich culture of black art and black artists. For Black History Month, Red Rooster is offering special editions alongside their a la carte menu. We worked our way through the Caribbean. We worked our way through, you know, Cajun country, you know, Louisiana and everything like that. And now this week we're focusing on low country, uh, more so South Carolina. This weekend, they're serving up Carolina style smoked pool, whole hog and frog north stew. I really don't know where to start because it's so much food, but I'm just gonna freestyle it, dip this shrimp, and get a potato, so here we go. Mmm, okay, that sauce, amazing. Well, most of the food is downstairs. Upstairs will really transform you into the 1960s, and this is a place where all the greats used to hang out, like Muhammad Ali and Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> These are pictures and posters that you would see throughout the time period in the Overtown community celebrating the artists that would be coming through to Overtown and performing. So Overtown was known as Harlem of the South. And so the Legacy Staircase is a dedication and a space to remember that. It really does feel like I'm back in time in the 50s and 60s. Why is that? Yes, it's the colors and the different textures and patterns of the thoughtfully curated and selected furniture. Oh yes, I can definitely tell. I love this, like it feels funky like I'm in the Good Times episode. Yes. <laughs> the pool hall isn't the only iconic building still standing right across the street, the historic mm. Lyric Theater. In its 110th year, they're celebrating Black History Month with a four-day jazz festival from now until the 25th. Here at the Lyric Theater, we're going to do something for the first time. We're going to have a jazz movie night. So we'll, we'll be, uh, you know, this actually, this venue was actually a theater, you know, back in, the, in its heyday. So we're going to, we want to bring that back. And places like the Lyric Theater and Clyde Killen's Pool Hall were so important during the time of segregation because black people weren't allowed to go out to clubs after performances. So Clyde and others created a safe, sp safe place for them to do that. Well, for ticket information on that festival, just head over to our website, local10.com. We'll also post details about events happening at Red Rooster.